drum magazines kind of suck. I know that's a controversial statement because everybody wants the big old Nerf drum mag that can hold a billion rounds, never has to reload, and looks super awesome on their blaster, and uh, if this is any indication of what Nerf drums are, uh, this is this is a huge but this never even worked for me i got this from hasbro and out of the box this drum magazine didn't work and quite honestly i only really wanted it for one blaster and while i haven't been able to test it myself apparently the infamous isn't even strong enough to fully load one of the 50 round drums and let's be frank the thing is the size of a blaster for 50 rounds yeah, that's, that's not exactly good space economy on your loadout. Now, before we get too far into things, I do want to say there is a reason to use a drum mag. There's some good reason to use a drum mag, and I will talk about that later on in the video. But Nerf drums, pretty much by design, are cool factor first, actual practicality later. This is something that does cross up in, like, real steel. It doesn't really cross up all that much in, like, airsoft, because you can have 4,000 BBs in, like, a normal you know, 762 kind of mag and just wind it, fire infinitely, or maybe airsoft tech has evolved so far that you don't even need to use winding anymore. I don't even know it's been so long, but it's kind of more of a problem when you have a bigger ammo size and nerf darts are pretty flippin' big compared to other projectiles you could be shooting. And that doesn't even mean a whole lot because when you actually have short half darts, which is kind of the ammo of choice for pretty much everything, it's the best dart you could possibly use, there's a drum variation of that too, and you can tell, like, there is some credence to using this until you realize, in my gear at least, I could stack literally like six of these for the size of one of these. And this is a 23 dart D mag kind of thing. This is a 15 dart actually holds 17 half dart mag, so is it really worth the space premium? And then also goes for the lovable 35 dart raider drum, and I guess this also came with the new version of the Terra Scout, but it's a 35 round nerf mag! That's 35 darts before you have to reload, so compared to one of these things, this is only 18. This is 35, this is clearly superior, right? Except for if I do something like this, all of a sudden, 35, 36... Yeah, you're starting, like, sure, this is in, you know, without reloading, but reloading, honestly, 18 darts and then reloading and having another, that is some downtime, but it's really not enough to make that much of a difference, so is it worth having more darts on you or less darts without reloading? I guess there's going to be a case for both of them, and that's something you should consider because every single war is going to be different for you, but we're still kind of failing to see the point of these kinds of applications in this hobby. That doesn't mean to say that I wouldn't run a drum if it actually worked. If the 50 round drum worked flawlessly for me, and honestly I'd really like to get one that worked really well and upgrade an Infinite so it actually had the strength to load all 50 darts no problem, this is an amazing setup because the Infinite is a very unique blaster in the fact that you can rear load darts into the magazine without removing the magazine so you can keep the blaster pointed at someone and take foam darts and load them in and fire. It's really cool about that. It's one of the coolest blasters Hasbro has ever made, and I really hope they do more with this platform in the future, because the Infinis is pretty much everything I've ever wanted in a Nerf blaster, except for the fact that it's kind of ridiculously hard to mod, so I haven't had a lot of time to crack one open. And in the case of the Infinis, let's say I ran completely out of darts, and I absolutely needed more darts and didn't have the time to hand load them. Maybe there's another 30 zombies coming around the corner. No big deal! Because with the money I saved by switching over to Geica, I mean, by the, the room I saved by not having a drum that's on my gear, but just in my blaster at the start, I could very easily load another magazine in there. And I could carry, like, six of these if I really had to, which means I could have the ability to use the Nerf magazine and all of its glory with its non-stop firepower, high capacity, with something I could reload. And if I absolutely needed a fresh reload, I could still do that. My god, the Infinis is the best blaster ever! But let's talk about something where, like, the magazine is the size of the blaster already. The Rapid Red from the Rebel lineup. Basically a Strife. These are very common sidearms, actually. Not only do you use them for your actual primary sometimes, which is, you know, whatever blaster you use the most, but you can carry them as a secondary because of their compact size, semi-auto nature, and... 
just being absolutely amazing blasters. Seriously, I hope everybody has a Rapid Red, because I like these way more than the Strife. The only reason the Strife is better is because you can put attachments on it, or a whole bunch of kits. But there is something to be said about having this big old huge mag right here. I mean, as a secondary, I probably won't be reloading it that often. That's why I typically say when you're running a secondary or a sidearm, kind of depends on what you're using it for, you should probably just use something that doesn't take a magazine. Or if you're using something like, it would be completely within reason to have something like this or an FDL-3, a short dart nose, with short dart mags and only carrying like two spare short dart mags on you, because if that's the size of one normal nerf mag, for your secondaries or sidearms that you shouldn't be reloading all that much. But, also, I mean, there's this big huge mag sticking out, so if I really needed to, there's stuff like this. Ooh, what else you got in there? And this being the 18 round drum. Crap, I was gonna do a size comparison, I just yeeted it. Both of these carry the same amount of darts. One of them is about half the length. Now granted, it's a little bit thicker, but the 18 round drum, which I think only came in like, I think the Alpha Trooper and an upgrade kit. That's the only way you could get this thing and they've never remade them, but it is an amazing little magazine because when you put it in something like this, it is tiny. It sticks out a little bit, but if you had that like on your hip or something, you would barely even notice it. That is probably the optimal way to run something like this. And it's not done enough, unfortunately, and I wish they did more of that, but that is a case to use a drum. Or really any drum for that matter. If I really wanted to, this, while it does stick out, my side to side kind of room space isn't all that important, especially when you're already a huge guy like me, but backwards or forwards is a little bit more of an issue because if I'm sitting down or moving awkwardly, that can get in the way. It's not very often I'm going to move side to side and have it bump into something, but bending down or getting up off the ground, trying to do a B slide or something like that. Something like this can get in the way. Something like this, significantly shorter, that could be good. Plus this is 35 rounds. So if I was using it as a sidearm, I could just draw it 35 rounds. That's usually enough to clear an entire horde by itself. Should give me hopefully enough time to do a pretty good retreat as opposed to 18 rounds, which is still a colossal amount. But 35 is definitely a bit more, and I shouldn't want to have to reload something like this, and really there's not much of a point to have, oh, I've got a rapid strike with all of my mags, and then this thing with mags, and then be using this when I could just be reloading the rapid strike, unless the rapid strike went down. And in that case, you have way bigger problems than what magazine you're using. And that definitely applies to something like this FDL. It's not very bad with like one of the 15, 17 round standard Talon mags in it, but if I really wanted to, that is a lot, it, again, it sticks out the side, but it's a lot less pointy outy that way. So if I had this thing on my hip or something like that, well, I, I don't have the big long stick sticking out the back, I just have something on the side, but if I wasn't actively reloading this thing, that is a few rounds extra capacity that could potentially save me, and I could just yeet this and draw one of those other magazines, which is much smaller to fit on my gear, and worry about this thing later, or, you know, if I do get tagged out, I just go pick it up, mark it with your name and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to pick one of those up and hide it in your gear and steal it or something like that, especially if it has somebody's name painted on it or something. And let's say you weren't using it for HVZ and the like. There's still some reason to use a drum mag. I mean, if it's your opening blaster, like you just reloaded it, you're starting off a fresh match, you can start with the drum mag. Shoot all you want, if you have a dump patch for it, perfectly. If not, drop it on the ground, nobody really cares, then reload with your standard 18 rounders and continue to fight that way. That still gives you an impressive amount of firepower as opposed to having just an 18 round stick in there and then switching to more 18 round sticks. I mean, that's just efficiency in your build. But obviously these things are not efficient to carry on you as opposed to something like this. So carrying extra drums on you isn't exactly all that smart. So, in conclusion, when should you be using any kind of big Nerf drum magazine? Well, if it's as a secondary or a sidearm, you have it on your hip or something like that, perfect time because you probably won't be using that blaster very much. And if you really need to, pro tip right here, you could just pull the drum mag out of that and slap it into your primary if your primary is also using a magazine. That's a more efficient way to have it on you than pretty much any other way. Or have it at the start of the fight. 
just have it already in your blaster at the start of a round or the start of the HPZ, whatever you need to do, use it up, ditch it, and switch to your 18 round mags. You just have a whole bunch of these. I know my chest rig holds at least 10 of them pretty much no problem whatsoever. It can't even hold one of these, so very, very important to actually utilize these as much as you can. Which is part of the reason something like the, uh, just pretend this is a Magnum Super Drum because I don't know where mine is, you can technically hot swap these things and you can technically hold more of these since it's not like a spring drum magazine thing, it's more of a cylinder. It's possible for you to probably have more of these on you, but what made these blasters so good is the fact that you could just load up the entire thing, sling it around you, and be using another blaster, and if you really needed to, you had this as a backup, and it's a really efficient backup to have high firepower, you know, 100 FPS stock, with a 40 dart drum on it, so in slam fire, it's, it's gonna meet all your needs pretty much, but it's less efficient to have it as, like, your primary with multiple drums like this. Like, you can do it, but... You'd be, you could probably hold a hundred darts in the space one of these would take on your gear fully loaded with 40 darts. But as a last little surprise, you know what's way better than either option? No, it's not a rival hopper, although that's a, that's a pretty typical response. And no, it's not even the dart hoppers that you see in a couple of the dart zone blasters like the Destructor or the Command Fire. It's a chain. This is a 63 dart chain. You'll notice... It's actually technically smaller than the 35 round drum. And the best part about a chain is I can pretty much stack this however I want. I can even just sling it around my body if I want and keep it out of the way. While something like this, I pretty much have to have a very specialized pouch for. So this, if I needed to have pretty much unending fire, would be the best way to go about it, which is one of the reasons why I'm really excited to start on a hopefully complete overhaul of the light command because i i had a video where i was going to talk about this in particular but my light command died and i just never fixed it but for unending fire and of course ease of reload chains are where it's at i really wish this like i gotta try to get this thing to work somehow I've, I've spent several hours on it i really hope you enjoyed this video this is one of those 2 a.m kind of spontaneous videos that i just get up and start doing because seems like a good idea at the time and it's you know, when I have a fresh idea, I might as well go about it. And thank you very much to the patrons who support this channel. I didn't really get a chance to show them off all that much on this video either. <sighs> thank you very much to those of you that still tolerate me. And if you do like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. There will be more, more Nerf content, more than you possibly ever want coming your way very, very soon. But otherwise, I'm Walcom S7. Thank you so very, very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. I don't, I don't have any ammo. It's, it, that's an empty thread. You gotta